The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. Guys, I don't think any of us expected this, but it's most welcome. They're making a brand new Lord of the Rings anime film from New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers. It's a standalone film from director Kenji Kamiyama. It's set in the third age of Middle-earth, 250 years before the events of the Lord of the Rings. And it's centred around Rohan and its king at the time, King Helm Hammerhand. Yep, King Helm, who gave his namesake to the great fortress of Rohan, Helm's Deep. Which is arguably still the best live-action fantasy battle of all time when it comes to cinema or even anything on Game of Thrones or any other TV show. In my eyes, Helm's Deep is still the best. And the man the Great Fortress was named after is the ninth King of Rohan, and the last King of the First Line. And he spent most of his reign at war against the Dunlindens. I imagine most of you guys are quite unfamiliar with the character or the story, but don't worry, it has nothing to do with Shadow of War and their portrayal of Helm Hammerhand. He is not one of the Nazgul. He's around in the Third Age, whereas the Nazgul story starts in the Second Age of Middle-earth, and that's the events that Amazon's show will cover. So yeah, this is part of Peter Jackson's movie universe, and Philippa Boyens, who was very close to Peter Jackson and helped him write the screenplay, is involved. She's going to be a consultant, so that's a massive bonus. And the articles do say right now, Peter Jackson and his partner Fran Walsh are not involved, but that could change. And because this is mentioned, it's got me thinking it probably will change. And Warner Brothers, New Line Cinema, they want Peter Jackson and probably Fran as well. Even if it's in a minor capacity. Because having Peter Jackson involved is a big deal. Even if having his name attached is all there is. And I also think if this Rohan film is a big hit, then it's just the beginning. We can go to other events in Middle Earth, other time periods, other characters. Characters of old, characters of new. Characters from the Fellowship, even. I would love to see more of Gandalf, Aragorn, Galadriel, the Hobbits. Arnor in the War vs. Angmar. King Franduil and the Mirkwood Elves. Tom Bombadil and other stuff cut from the books. Give us everything. Of course, this is not the first time that Tolkien has been adapted in animation. But this is kind of a new era. And I think it's a great medium for Tolkien to be shown. Especially when it comes to lesser known stories. Like this standalone film based on Rohan. Not exactly sure why they chose Helm Hammerhand, but the Rohirrim are incredibly popular, and you could argue they bring some of the most emotional scenes from the entire trilogy. Like Aragorn and Faden's Last Stand, or the charge of the Rohirrim at the Pelennor Fields. Two of my favourite moments, and what made those battles so special to me, and to millions around the world, is yeah, they're full of spectacles, they're big action set pieces, but they didn't forget about the characters and the emotion. And the Rohirrim bring that every single time. Man, I can't wait for this movie. And I would love to see Bernard Hill, who played Faden, or Carl Urban, who played Aermer, come back as some sort of narrator in the introduction, similar to Galadriel retelling the events of the Second Age and the Rings of Power. Or they might even show up in a cameo, or something like that. But supposedly New Line Cinema and Warner Animation are fast-tracking this. Animation and voice casting is already underway, and I'm very interested to see how far they are and who will be providing their voice talents for this. It's possible this might drop next year, and with Amazon Show likely dropping as well in that year, it's a great time to be a Tolkien fan. But obviously I want you guys to leave your thoughts down below. I'm going to keep this short as I'm pretty busy this weekend, but don't worry, I'm bringing this to the channel. We can talk more about this in the weeks and months to come. And don't forget, I'm also covering Amazon Show, set in the second age. And it's also likely we're going to get something big over on Netflix's The Witcher as they're doing a Netflix Geek Week. And as of recording this, Netflix have dropped a wee teaser. I'm going to go over, check that out, and I'm going to see what I can come up with. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.